Can't say I didn't see it coming. Zuckerberg himself announced that you'll be able to get the verification badge on Facebook and Instagram by paying for it monthly. Hmm. Doesn't that sound familiar? Weren't people just losing their mind about Twitter doing that recently? I think Elon Musk, uh, we can call him a trendsetter right now. So here's one major difference that I'm seeing. It's not just about getting that coveted blue check mark that spammers flood your DMs about being able to help you with. There's a handful of benefits that you're gonna be able to get for about 12 to 15 bucks a month, depending on whether or not you subscribe through Apple or Android. What's the difference there? Now, these benefits that come with that little blue check mark are actually going to increase your visibility and reach, which I'll get into in a second. This whole pay for play thing is gonna be the new norm, guys. So get used to it. Don't shoot the messenger. Now, side note, it came from Zuckerberg, not Adam Mazzari. Focus more on video. Now, this was on his broadcast channel, which side note, I'm gonna be doing an in-depth video on new broadcast channels, the, the feature very soon. But on his broadcast channel, Zucky said, this week, we're starting to roll out Meta Verified, a subscription service that'll let you verify your account with a government ID, get the blue badge, get extra impersonation protection against accounts claiming to be you, and get direct access to customer support, which I'd gladly pay 15 bucks a month to give me the ability to chat to somebody just in case they randomly lock me out of my account again while I'm on vacation for no reason. Deep breath. So as I regain my composure, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, this blue check mark has always been this mythical thing. And of course, big celebrities have had it, but you occasionally see some random weirdo with 327 followers and two posts, or somebody's going to DM you and say that they're willing to help you get verified for only 10 grand. And all you have to do is send it through PayPal using friends and family, uh, or of course, Cash App. Nothing shady going on there. Side note, don't ever pay anybody via friends and family on PayPal if it's a service provider that you don't know, because you have zero chance of getting that money back. Zero. Once they rip you off. I did a video on this a long time ago about PayPal PayPal chargebacks. Let me know in the comments if you've seen that video and maybe it's time that I did an updated version. Back to the verification thing. So basically everybody's going to be able to get their verified badge for the same monthly price of your favorite streaming service, which in my opinion, is not a bad idea at all. Uh, really scammers that are at an all time high. And I've been contacted by so many people and it's even happened to me where somebody pretending to be me using my photo and my name reached out to them in the comments saying that they've won something. And all that person had to do is send the scammer a message through WhatsApp, of course. And right off the bat, if you knew that that person was the real deal because of that verification badge, I think it would reduce the amount of people getting ripped off. So right now, the only way to get this new verification badge through the system is that you have to be in Australia or New Zealand. And the reason that they test in these countries, from what I've heard, is that those marketplaces are very similar to the US, which makes it an ideal test market to roll things out. Now, that being said, I think this is going to be a big deal and expanded globally pretty quickly. Now, you have to be 18. You have to have an active account with posting history, and you'll need to submit a government ID that matches the profile name and the photo of Facebook and Instagram, uh, the accounts that you're applying for. The real news about the subscription-based blue check mark is that uh, the great and powerful meta says that you're gonna get increased visibility and reach with preference in some areas on the platform, such as explore the comments and recommendations. Now, they also mentioned that uh, all of those features are going to vary depending on your subscribers or existing audience size and the topic of the posts. Now, they also said that subscribers with smaller followings might actually have a more noticeable impact in their reach since their audiences are smaller. This is huge for music creators as a lot of you guys have a smaller following and you're just grinding away to find new fans. Now, another thing that they said is that businesses are not eligible right now. So it looks like you'll need to switch over to a creator account instead of a business account if you want to do this. Now, one thing that's definitely going to ruffle a lot of feathers out there is that they said that Meta Verified will only support your real name on your profile. Once your profile is approved and you get that badge, you can't change your name, your profile, photo, username, date of birth, photo, anything without going through the entire verification process. Again, this is really going to piss off a lot of people if they don't iron out the kinks quickly because let's say a band wants to get verified and their account isn't using their real name, but their band name might feel like Meta uh, gonna have to get adjusted real quick. So what do you guys think about this? Is paying a few bucks a month for a premium version of these apps worth it to you? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And after you do that, go over to this video next to help rapidly grow your audience. And this one's free. I'm not charging you any premium for this. Click that little subscribe button to join the channel family here. If you haven't yet, come connect with me over on Twitter and Instagram and watch me work. And until next time, guys, I appreciate you watching.